Out in the morning, everybody. Eric with Secondary Machine. This morning, I'm out in the shop. I spent all day yesterday working on the Z-axis. So I left Z for last simply because I knew it would be the most difficult to do. So I started with the easiest, which was X, went to Y, which is a little more difficult, and then I'm ending with Z. So basically, all I accomplished yesterday was making uh, this upper piece the lower mount and this plate which is going to come across to the knee itself what i wanted to talk about here is the draft angles on this column um, so i initially what i did to try to figure out the draft angle was i took this piece of aluminum and i lined it up against the ways themselves let's see if i can put this the way i had it I put it against the way itself, and then I was able to scribe a line and try to figure out, you know, where I could get parallel here. And uh, then I took a angle finder, just a simple protractor one, and took a measurement, and it said it was at about five. You know, if I'd been smart, I would have pulled out my precision stare it because it isn't five, it's actually three. So initially, I made this lower mount, I made the angle at five and it just wasn't quite right. So I ended up having to kind of, uh, I ended up changing it, which actually whittled more aluminum off of it, which brought it a little closer to the column, which it needed anyway. So after finally figuring out what the angle was, um, there was a bit of an issue because it not only has a draft angle in this direction, it's got one going back too, and it's the same angle. And so how do how do you build something that can sit square on that and uh, come out right? Um, well, the answer is to use something that's round. You can see my witness mark here. Um, so basically what I did was I cut the angles and then this allows you to spin that around and you can pick up some of the angle here and here. There's a happy medium in between the two. And so... How I did this was I made the lower one, right? And I got it bolted on there. And then I stuck a wedge in here to hold it in place to where just I could get a measurement all the way up and down this where it was basically running parallel. And then I took a measurement for the widest point I was gonna need up here. Came over to the lathe, used my parting tool and just made myself a piece that was at the widest point. Took it over here to the milling machine, I've got a three degree angle plate. I stuck my piece in there so that it's at the three degree angle and then just nipped it off so that I left at the longest point that I had measured, didn't touch that so that as I came across, it was just right about where it needed to be. And sometimes you just really get lucky because after I got all of this done yesterday, I'm dropping about four thou from bottom to top with this, and that's without any linear compensation, and it's consistent. So, um, and it's actually, it's about, I'm about four thou shy at the top. So I could either shim it out maybe two thou and pick it up, or I could take another, you know, thou and a half, two thou off of the lower one, and I could probably pick it up. But the thing is with the knee, you're not making real long cuts. Four thou, I'm probably, you know, it's probably actually with the linear compensation, I might be able to pick that up. Um, but even if I can't, you know, I just don't think in the knee it's really that big of a deal because most of the time when I'm using the knee, like I'm just moving like, you know, a hundred thou or something like that, which, you know, you're not going to pick up what am I going to, at a hundred thou, I'm going to, you know, pick up a tenth or something. Um, probably no real big deal. I'll try to get rid of it, but. You know, sometimes you just get lucky because basically I just, I measured what was going to be the widest part I thought about needed, used my parting tool, part that off, and then just milled it down. And you know what? It, you know, it worked out really nice. Now, the angle going back isn't 100% perfect either, but it really doesn't have to be because there's a bit of play in these. Um, you can actually move the scale around um, this direction just slightly so it doesn't have to be 100 percent on the main thing is that you want it nice and square to these ways uh vertically and in and out both um 
but like I said, in this direction, it's just not as important. Um, now, I could have chintzed out. Here's one of the brackets that came with the kit. I could have used two of these in conjunction and made this lower part. But you know what? I just, it wasn't going to be as good as what I knew I could do. And so uh, I started working on this yesterday and got just a little bit of a clearance issue. It just barely wants to touch at the bottom. So I'm going to have to mill a little off down here. But um, I started working on this plate and this block before I finally was running out of steam and uh, gave up for the day last evening. But that just fits in there just perfect. So... I think what I'm going to do here is use the bolt pattern from here, the same width, to make it look nice. And uh, I'll just use long ones. I might give myself uh, a little bit of uh, pocket milling here to give myself a little bit of adjustability right there. And then uh, I'm just going to go through both pieces and uh, drill and tap the, the knee itself and just use long bolts to go all the way through both pieces. And uh, after that's built today, then it's just a matter of getting everything dialed into where, you know, I might need to shim something here or there, uh, the linear compensation. Um, but I think between the two, I should be able to get uh, everything running just so and uh, have this pretty well dialed in and set up. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be working on today is uh, finishing up Z, like literally I spent the whole day yesterday working on just getting this part of it um but you know if you're getting ready to do a column like this or you know anything that's cast it's going to have a draft angle in both directions and so if you're kind of stymied really good way of doing it is with a round because you can spin it to where you find a happy median where you're picking up both of the angles at the same time and so i thought i would just show that really quick anyway eric with secondary machine I'm going to get to work.